Now, um, I'm feeling the need to talk about something that I, I don't think is going to bode well with uh, some of you. So just get a vape, sit back, and uh, hear me out on this, because uh, it ain't pretty. Now, there's a lot of good things about vaping. It's mostly good. It's mostly good. You know, the health benefits, the financial benefits compared to smoking, unless you buy solid gold drip tips every day, the camaraderie between vapors, the, uh, the hobby of it, of, of doing builds, of uh, collecting, you know, the vapor, the flavors, you know, it's, it's all good stuff. So you, right now, watching this video, this is the vanilla vape world. This is, you know, the out in the public vape pals watching vape videos on YouTube. Going to the convention. Going to the vape meet. Go down to the my vape shop and play pin the ego battery on the donkey. But be aware that right now, there are some individuals using a donkey as an ego battery. And no plinth is going to fit that shit. So this uh, dark underworld of vaping, it started with a very small group of modders with a knack for terrifying concepts and unholy practices which sort of branched out and inspired a bigger uh, younger group of sicko vapors that picked up their torch and carried it into even blacker darkness this is the occult side of vaping okay this is about a bad group of people abusing the paranormal and uh, rituals as part of their vaping experience, okay? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? I'm talking about, you know, modding a pacemaker as a variable voltage device uh, and vaping it while it's still inside a guy. We're talking about group blood rituals with a vape coven Mixing their blood with some poor individuals uh, for kind of a members-only e-liquid sesh. All I can say is uh, it puts a whole new spin on dripping. And uh, you don't want to see it. Because you can't unsee it. You get in a cloud comp with one of these guys. And uh, the winner is going to be determined by a forensic lab. As a few of you vapors know, Nick Grim Green definitely included in that, uh, this dark place is where I got my nickname Raven Vapes, okay? That was, you know, I was given that name a long time ago, and it did involve actual ravens, but I don't do that anymore. Uh, that was nine years ago, and, um, you know, but I saw and vaped things that harmed my soul and um, definitely cursed me. I had uh, demonic attachments to uh, some human bone drip tips I used to use. It took me three years to get that shit off my back. One time I had a, a 306 atomizer with an Egyptian curse on it. I had to keep it submerged in a jar of honey out of sunlight or beetles started pouring out of it. That's normal. We're talking about shit that ain't right. It's not of this vaping world. So this kind of, you know, dark society uh, of vaping revolves around something called the dark hit. This uh, was this was invented by those original modders, okay? And they made this book with specs in it, and um, it didn't have a name, but people have come to call the book different things. I've heard it called the uh, Necromoticon. 
I've heard it called the Sixth Fog Sigil. I've heard it called the Book of Wicca. Um, but there's these specs for this device, the Dark Hit, and, um, and yes, I am going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. I probably shouldn't talk about it. Uh, but, you know, I feel like I have the right to talk about it, okay? So when they, when they get together for this, we'll call it a vape meet, okay? When they get together for their vape meet, it revolves around this uh, device event slash ceremony. So what is a dark hit? I have a pic on my computer here. I was going to show it, but I don't think I should let anyone see it because I don't want, you know, I don't want anybody to build one or accidentally educate people in any way on how it works. Um, although it's not made of anything that any normal person could get, okay? But I know there's going to be some Einstein that's going to, you know, fire up his uh, 3D printer and release the four horsemen. So, what can I tell you about it? It's about the size of a car. The uh, body of the mod is uh, made completely out of human bones. Uh, it's a regulated 901 variable voltage device, regulated device. And you only have to take one hit from this thing to sort of be indoctrinated into this vape club. So this isn't, you know, this isn't dry hits, this is die hits, okay? Throat hit means something very different to these individuals. This is sometimes called soul vaping. It sometimes involves the squonking of a virgin. This, uh, I'm not allowed to really, you know, go into it in depth, uh, because, frankly, they still have the ability to vape my soul without, you know, me even having to be there. It's fun. Some call them drip witches. Some call them uh, vape pyres. Some call them the fogarati, the, the undercloud. I don't call them at all because they visit me in my nightmares and use my hair as wicking material. I left all that. I got out. Uh, I'm glad I got out when I did. When I say I got out, I don't mean like, you know, I quit. I actually had to get out. I had to escape a cave. And it is not easy to do without anyone helping you uh, on the outside, believe me. I had to coat myself in VG and climb through a little sewer pipe, okay? That's two days on my stomach, climbing through a sewer pipe in pitch blackness, vaping bone marrow on a cursed saber touch mod. Thanks for letting me in your club, guys. I love the black robes. My transition back into the normal vaping world uh, did not go smoothly. Um, it took years, okay? It took years for me to just get back into the swing of things. I'd only been out for like a couple years when I started uh, making my YouTube vids in 2010. And uh, I just couldn't shake the effects. It took a long ass time. There were, uh, right when I got out, there were about six months or so where, if I was out, snakes would start following me. And you know, it's weird. It's If one snake is following you, it's okay. But if you're going down the street and you've got like nine snakes following you, it's hard to explain to people. It's weird. I would tell them that... Um, they were in training to become seeing eye snakes. Just, you know, so uh, just to get past them. So I had to get rid of all of my vape gear. I was down to zero. Everything had become, you know, contaminated with dark forces. This is like, this is some Voldemort shit going down, okay? So, you know, suddenly I'm back to square one uh, with no vape gear. I'd be laying in bed at night about to fall asleep. I'd hear my, my name being called out. And uh, it's a possessed cardo tank in my living room stuck against a chair leg trying to roll into the bedroom and kill me. You know? I had to get rid of that shit. I eventually found a priest 
that vaped and uh, I had him come and perform a vaporism on me. So he came to my house and um, I vaped holy water, I vaped sage, I vaped holy water and custard, I vaped holy water and flu-cured tobacco, and nothing worked. Finally, he just looks at me and he shakes his head and he says, well, I guess you're just bad now. Thanks uh, for having faith in me, Father. I guess you're not getting paid now. So what the hell, Raven Vapes? Why are you telling me this weird crap? Because it needs to be acknowledged and it needs to be avoided. And look, you know what? If you've been vaping more than six or seven years, you know about this. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe you want to pretend you don't know, and I don't blame you. But I'm sure you know somebody back in the day that went missing. Maybe you heard something. Maybe you saw something. And you're trying to pretend you didn't. We got to bring light to this subject and uh, help younger vapors not go down the path I did. This dark side of vaping still exists, okay? So if you ever see anything or hear anything, avoid it. If you have a friend that has a friend that gets invited to a gathering, avoid it. Don't let your curiosity get the best of you, you know, like it did for me. And also, you know, the vaping wasn't even that good. It was messed up. Unless you get your jollies vaping, you know, bullet ant venom out of a decapitated electric eel, I don't know, maybe it's great for you. Let's uh, say an evil Latin curse while blowing clouds of e-liquid made out of widow's tears. That sounds like a good idea. Count me in. Let's uh, remotely control swarms of locusts with a voodoo vape cloud. I know, let's brand ourselves with pentagram coils in the graveyard tonight. I'm there. You gotta vape for the good of man. You gotta vape for the love of your fellow vapors. You gotta vape for the good. Because it's, it's good for all of us, right? Uh, and also, don't eat people meat. And don't, uh, don't vape a dead person. I'm Raven Vapes, vape hard.